So today we're going to start talking about system arch archetypes and we're going to deal with the easiest one to understand which is escalation. So in escalation there are two players and player one does something which is seen as a threat by player two and player two responds in kind by making a power move. Uh, the power move is perceived by player A, seen as a threat, and so they they respond again in kind and do something that is perceived as a threat by B. And so it goes in a continuing pattern of threat and response, seen as threat and response, seen as threat and response. And a situation grows out of control. The situation escalates. And it's done through a series of power moves. In an escalation system, both parties or both teams are operating from a, a sense of from their mental models, from a sense of righteousness, and they believe they can't give in. Uh, an example of uh, escalation was seen in the 1980s in the arms buildup between the United States and the Soviet Union. Uh, the Soviet Union would increase the nuclear arsenal and the U.S. would respond in kind and increase ours. And our increase was seen as a threat to the Soviet Union who would then spend more money and increase theirs and likewise we would respond in kind and on and on it went consuming critical national resources. Both systems, both, both countries locked into the system, unable to back down, um, both prisoners of the system. Eventually it led to bankruptcy of the Soviet Union and hyperinflation in the United States. This kind of escalating system exists inside of our organizations. It exists between functional groups where one functional group takes a, an important position, but that position is seen as a threat to another functional group in the organization, and they start escalating back and forth. A trigger for an escalation could be if your marketing group says, we've learned something new about the market and we have to introduce this new spec in the middle of a product development process. And the engineering group might say, we can't, that change in spec would drive us back to square one. We can't accommodate it and still be on time to market. And with these two righteous positions, they, the interface between the two groups becomes a battle line and they go back and forth escalating and, and threatening and counter-threatening each other. If you find yourself in uh, a system of escalation, how do you get out of it? If you've recognized the system, that's terrific, but how do you find your way out of it? In the archetype of escalation, the way out is through dialogue between countries on the international scale, the dialogue is referred to as diplomacy. Inside of your organization, dialogue is referred to as inquiry, learning, uh, asking questions to understand the, the underpinnings of your partner's position. Peter Senge calls this advocacy for your position with inquiry, looking to understand the position of your partner. If you're looking how to ask meaningful questions, to get to the heart of the matter um, so you can avoid escalating situations. I recommend you read a terrific book by Michael Marquardt. It's called Leading with Questions. If you learn to lead with questions, you'll always be able to find yourself out of organizational situations that are escalating out of control. Mm -hmm.